details of the six billion Kina loan package are still being ironed out between Papua New Guinea and China. The loan is coming from the Exim Bank of China. The government expects to draw down this funding in portions. It's a move by the O'Neill government designed to inject money into transport infrastructure, communications and energy. Our communication costs are too high. They're just so uncompetitive internationally. We need to upgrade and get in place our broadband network and international gateway uh, to Papua New Guinea. Our energy policy, our unit energy costs are way too high at 78 toya per kilowatt hour. It needs to get down to 14 toya, 15 toya. We need to look at that energy policy and what we're going to do. And a critical project is the Purari Hydro project. The planning minister Charles Abel is expected to travel to Beijing to finalize the package. In the last 10 years, China's trade volumes to and from Papua New Guinea have significantly increased. PNG's trade accounts for a third of China's trade with countries in the South Pacific. But it's no secret that, driven by the domestic demand of its more than 1 billion people, the fourth largest economy in the world, wants PNG's resources to support its own economy. The Pacific is also of strategic importance. Chinese companies already have a strong presence in the country. The planning minister, meanwhile, has said the government will push to have independent monitoring of projects by a local team of engineers and other experts.